section of the I-5 bridge over the Skagit River collapsed after an oversized load hit the structure on May 23, 2013, the Washington State Department of Transportation faced the challenge of quickly restoring service on the bridge, a critical link between Seattle and Vancouver, and used by 70,000 vehicles per day. WashDOT initially met the challenge with the installation of a temporary ACRO bridge installed under an emergency contract by the Guy F. Atkinson Company less than a month after the accident. Meanwhile, WashDOT moved swiftly on a permanent fix of the 58-year-old structure. The same day the bridge reopened with the temporary replacement span, WashDOT awarded a contract to the Max J. Cuny Company to construct a permanent replacement of the damaged section of the bridge. Parsons Brinkerhoff designed the replacement structure as part of the CUNY team and developed a plan under which it would be installed within three months. Engineers from CUNY, Parsons Brinkerhoff, and heavy moving expert Omega Morgan worked collaboratively with WashDOT to meet the aggressive schedule. CUNY's construction crews assembled the replacement span on temporary piles just west of the bridge. By mid-August, eight enormous concrete girders were in place to support the new roadway. WashDOT chose the weekend of September 14th and 15th to install the permanent span. The bridge was closed to traffic at 7 p.m. that Saturday. Over the next 19 hours, construction crews cut one and three quarter inch thick steel plates to free the temporary bridge and used hydraulic jacks to slide the 500 ton temporary span to a waiting platform for disassembly. Then the four hydraulic jacks lifted and slid the new 915-ton, 165-foot-long permanent concrete span into place. At 2 o'clock on Sunday afternoon, the bridge was reopened to traffic, a testament to WashDOT's determination to quickly restore a critical transportation link and to the teamwork with engineering and construction companies that made it happen.